it's a different mood for me. I'll be honest with you. It's a different, complete different mood for me. At least they're not trying to be rappers and it's not them. You know what I mean? They're being who the hell they are. You know what I mean? I, I can't lie. I, I saw the little the, the dude with the, the blue eye contacts and stuff. To me, that's trying to be a little bit of whitewash. You water yourself down to be give that a little bit more of a Western type of look. And I really don't think you need to do that. Just be yourselves and shit like that. I think that people are drawn to you. They're going to mess with you regardless. So let's get back, back into this uh, BTS idol joint and let's see what else they got to offer. So far, I'm feeling it though. What's populating YouTube? Welcome back to Real Street News. And today, yo, you guys, I'm about to get into something different, man. Because I've been getting a lot of lots, I mean, tons. I mean, I probably got at least 30 different requests for a band that's called BTS. Now, originally, when people were telling me to do a reaction video to BTS, I didn't even know what it was. You know what I mean? I'll be honest with you. Because when I was growing up, BTS was a graffiti crew that was called Bomb the System. I never knew at all that BTS would actually be a boy band group and stuff like that, especially for Korea. Now, mind you, I know nothing, look at me bro, I'm an African American brother who's from New York City, the Bronx, the home of hip hop, and right now I'm living in Brooklyn, and I'm doing hip hop videos most of the time, you guys, you know what I'm saying? And probably I'll throw a couple of um, R&B videos up in there. But when you get a bunch of requests coming from people who subscribe to you and watch your content, it's good to type, to type like basically listen to what they have to say because basically that's what we do this for. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you know, I pay attention for those that basically pay attention to me. I mean, what else is there to say? It makes sense, right? So I got all these subscribers asking me to do a reaction video to a song called Idol by a group called BTS. And when I actually looked up BTS, and mind you, I didn't even listen to any of their music, so I don't even know what I'm gonna expect. I don't even know if the music is gonna be in English, and I'm gonna tell you straight up and down, the only Asian rappers, well, I don't even know anything about Asian singers, to be honest with you, too. The only thing I know about Korea, especially, you know, I'm thinking like anybody else, Korea, I didn't think you guys were able to enjoy music. Because I was, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was probably thinking a little bit stupid. I was thinking about Kim Jong-un, and that's obviously, North Korea, right? So South Korea evidently must be a completely different lifestyle. People are doing things more freely, living a more democratic life. But at the same time, the only rappers that I know that are Asian are my boy Jin, who I know for a long time exactly. And I mean, to be honest with you, Jin is somebody I kind of like, I didn't grow up with the dude, but we grew up in the streets of New York City together and I would run into him occasionally with me, my brothers and him and whoever. Most of the time, Jin be by himself. Jim would show up and want to battle with anybody who's willing to listen to him spit. And I remember being like blown away by Jin. And I remember seeing him from that point. Of, I, me and my brothers actually we rapped against him. We used to battle Jim constantly. Jin always had some lyrics. We had some lyrics. And we it was all love and stuff at the end of the day. We was cool with Jin. Jim was cool with us. And it was cool when we saw that Jin made it to 106 in Park. And on 106 in Park, Jin did his damn thing. And eventually he started winning every type of battle that they would throw his direction. No matter who it was that would come up, for some reason, Jen was always on point. Now, scratch out the whole Jen thing, who, ba who basically actually went on to sign with Rough Riders and drop another song, talk about you're going to learn Chinese. It wasn't big here in the United States. I don't know what it did from over, over, uh, overseas in China, but apparently Jen actually said that um, over in China, and Hong Kong especially, his ass was like the Asian version of Justin Bieber out there. So he was out there doing well, even with that little bit of one song type of hit thing. Other than Jen, I know about a brother named China Mac, who's actually Chinese, also like Jen. And he's a good MC, completely. I mean, he's a, actually like the opposite version of Jen. Jen would be more kind of clean cut, whereas China Mac, that dude is a straight gritty dude. You know what I'm saying? He shots to my man China Mac, keep doing your thing with red money and shit like that. You know what I mean? I know who that dude is, and who else? Basically, that's it. I don't really know about too many Asian rappers. I actually, I thought when I was a kid that Wu-Tang Clan was an Asian rapper group, but it turns out not to be. So now, again, let's move on to right now, 2018, and there's a group called BTS, and supposedly these cats are blowing up like there's no tomorrow, and right now, you guys, I'm about to see what the hype is about, hopefully it's in English so I can be able to understand what's going on, and I can follow along. If it's in Korean, uh, I don't even know what to expect, you guys, and you're going to find out with me what kind of reaction, because like I said, I don't even know what reaction I'm going to get, because I have no idea about speaking Korean. So I'm kind of hoping this is going to be in English so I can follow along. But if all these people that are American have been actually getting into these dudes, they like basically One Direction these days. 
But I never really, you know, I don't remember the last group I can think of that was so big, that had so many members. The last time was Wu-Tang Clan, they had mad members too. It was kind of hard to split them goddamn checks. So I guess you guys gotta do a lot of fucking numbers when it comes to being on the charts, man. Hopefully y'all got, you guys are making a lot of money. I see you guys have a lot of albums. And I'm talking about BTS right now, you know what I'm saying? I see you guys have a lot of albums and have a lot of followers, and they're big, right? So with that being said, I'm gonna be open-minded because I have what's called an eclectic brain when it comes to music. I like all types of music, from rap, R&B, um, grunge music, old school metal and stuff like that, some music that's like punk and stuff like that. But we about to see what this BTS crew is all about. Like, this song's called Idol, and we about to get into this shit right the fuck now. BTS, Idol, let's go. <laughs> start right now with this. I am so relieved to at least see that these guys are singing in English and that right there blows me away because I at least get a chance to understand what they're saying. Uh, so far what I see is these dudes, they kind of remind me of the Backstreet Boys slash NSYNC right now. You know what I mean? It's it, obviously that these guys are influenced or whoever put that group together is obviously and they're influenced by NSYNC. We can see this right now. You know what I'm saying? They got dudes with all these different color hairs and stuff like that giving themselves their own little, I guess, character, kind of looks kind of anime-ish to me. That's just my personal opinion, you know what I mean? And I know in these Asian countries, anime is huge. So that's obviously an influence on these guys. And I'm not really into that whole flow rider because that's what this kind of reminds me of, some flow rider slash pitbull type of thing. But it's not whack, though. I'll give, it pro I'll give it props for the fact that these dudes actually know how to flow. They're having a good time. I like the way they dance, and I'm feeling the video so far. You know what I mean? But again, it's not my cup of tea, but I can see how people are definitely into this, and especially the females. The females always, you know, when you got like seven guys in a group, there's always going to be at least one dude that they're going to be crushing on. So when you put this kind of package together, it's going to drive the females crazy. And so far, I can see why it is, because the dudes actually seem pretty talented. I can't lie and say they're not. They're actually talented. And when it comes to pop music, this is where I guess this is carved into and this is what the market is that they're trying to, to like tap into and they're obviously doing a great ass job and let's see the rest of this video right now because shit it seems pretty hard I like it so far you know what I mean but it's a different mood for me I'll be honest with you it's a different complete different mood for me at least they're not trying to be rappers and it's not them you know what I mean they're being who the hell they are you know what I mean I, I can't lie I, I saw the little the, the dude with the, the blue eye contacts and stuff to me, that's trying to be a little bit of whitewash. You water yourself down to be give that a little bit more of a Western type of look. And I really don't think you need to do that. Just be yourselves and shit like that. I think that people are drawn to you. They're going to mess with you regardless. So let's get back, back into this uh, BTS idol joint and let's see what else they got to offer. So far, I'm feeling it though. Tunes has blown the fuck up. 
I gotta give it to you. Everybody's on that auto tune stuff. I thought that was only here in America, but it seems like everybody's using auto tunes and it's working for people. It really is. You know what I'm saying? And obviously these guys are from South Korea. That I can tell right now because they look like they're having too much fun. They're smiling a lot. They don't seem like people have them in bondage like there's a group of military guys with machine guns right behind the cameraman looking at them, telling them to perform the right way and make the, uh, Kim Jong-un happy. Because if these dudes were from Kim Jong's country, I don't think they'd be allowed to have a good time like this, man. You had these motherfuckers tied up somewhere in like a dungeon somewhere, feeding them crackers and having rats eating at their feet or something like that. But these dudes are pretty good, man. Again, this is not really my type of music, but I can see what's dope about it. It's definitely got that pop flair. They got it down to a science, man. It's good to see this, man. South Korea. If you're in North Korea, my dude, whoever it is, you better find a way to deflect. Because South Korea look like they're having a good-ass time over there, man. They, they're over there and shit is lit, obviously. They're having fun. I like this. Keep going, you guys. Let's see what else is here. stuff new kids on the block for those who don't know it seems that little that little hook that little chorus that oh oh ooh, whoa, ooh, whoa. that hook's been used a lot of times but it's still popping though these dudes are doing anything yo i don't know if i can have pink hair like this cat does though but um keep doing your thing guys it's working and now i can see exactly why girls in america is falling for this because they're speaking english they look kind of wild and standoutish and shit if you want to really call it that and stuff like that and these guys sound pretty good and they actually could dance a little bit. I like to see more of them dancing more, though. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I need to see a live performance of these guys to just see them just dancing because there's a lot of distraction in the video, but that's to keep it fast-paced and keep it moving. And I know that's what it is. But I have a feeling these dudes probably have a very good choreographed routine on stage. They probably tear shit down. And like I said, man, these dudes are having fun. This dude is rocking like the Howard... The Howard... Uh, what's his name again? Oh, man. I can't believe this guy. Who owned uh, Playboy again? Hugh Hefner. He's rocking a Hugh Hefner goddamn robe. Dude is not playing. He's ready to go to bed with any chick who's into him, I guess. Let's go. Okay, this guy right here, is this a guy? Somebody hit up the comment section let me know this is a guy. Because maybe it's six girls, six boys in a group, and one girl. Or maybe this is some featured motherfucker. Because this dude, if it is a guy, he looks like a woman. I'm going to keep it 1K with you guys. You know what I'm saying? You can be offended all you want, but this dude looks pretty feminine. I don't know. Let's see what happens to him in the future. He might be the next Lance Bass. We'll see. did their damn thing bro they did their damn thing hey yo you guys that was bts man you know what i'm saying that was bts and the track is called idol and i could definitely see why these guys are selling records out the wazoo they're a hot band they're definitely a hot band it's a nice little i like that man it's like the asian version of lfo mixed with nsync mixed with uh one direction that's what i see let me know what you think about the song Idol. If there's other tracks from these cats that you think I probably should get into, 
I'm not going to listen to anything else from these guys right now on my own, at least. I'll be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys have a suggestion, you think there's something I might like or I should at least see, hit up the comments section. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Real Street News. We do not play when it comes to dropping material. We love doing this type of stuff. And, yo, you guys... You got any comments or requests, hit me up and I'll be definitely really ready to listen to them. And hopefully, I'll see you guys again. Until then, peace. One.